Hello everyone. Today's lecture is about statistical inference and today's topic is sufficiency. Now tell me that what is sufficiency? The definition of sufficiency. Let me tell uh, an estimator. Okay. An estimator is said to be sufficient for a parameter if it contains all the information. I repeat, if it contains all the information in the sample regarding the parameter. Okay. Like next, if t, if t equal to small t, x1, x2, xn is an estimator of parameter theta based on a sample such like as x1, x2, dot 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 xn of size small n from the population with density f x theta such that the conditional distribution of x1, x2, dot dot xn given capital T is independent of theta then T is sufficient estimator of theta ok ok now here is a theorem the name of this theorem is factorization theorem Theorem. Okay. The necessary and the sufficient condition for a distribution to admit sufficient statistics is provided by factorization theorem due to Neyman. Okay. I repeat the necessary and sufficient condition for a distribution to admit sufficient st statistic is provided by the factorization theorem due to net due to Neyman. Sorry. Okay. Here's the statement. Okay. Capital T equal to small t x is sufficient for theta if and only if only if joint density function L say of the sample values can be expressed in the from capital L equal to G theta T x dot h x put it on bracket okay where g theta t x depends on theta and x only through the value of tx and hx is independent of theta okay here's the statement of the theorem 
is called factorization theorem due to Neyman. Okay, now I give you some notes about this theorem. Okay, note number one. It should be clearly understood that by a function independent of theta, we not only mean that it does not involve theta but also that its domain does not contain theta for example the function such like as fx equal to 1 by 2a a minus theta less than x less than a plus theta where okay where minus infinity less than theta less than infinity and it depends it depends on theta okay got it go through the note number two now it should be noted that the original sample capital X equal to capital X1 capital X2 dot dot capital XN is always a sufficient statistics okay I repeat it should be noted that the original sample of X equal to X1 comma X2 comma dot 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 XN is always a sufficient statistics okay now note number Three. The most general form of the distribution admitting sufficient statistics is Kopman's form. It's Kopman's form and is given by capital L equal to capital L x theta equal to g x dot h theta dot e x p a theta psi x Oops. sorry I write it again its capital L equal to L x theta equal to g x dot h dot and dot e x p a theta psi x okay where h theta and a theta are function of the parameter theta and g x and psi x are the function of the sample observation only okay next go through the note number four let's put a sort in variance property of sufficient estimator okay okay here's the invariance property of sufficient estimator now if t is a sufficient estimator for the parameter theta and if psi t is a one to one function it's one to one function one to one function of t then psi t is sufficient for psi theta okay that's the note 5 there is also a subheading it's Fisher Neyman criterion it's criterion Fisher's name and criterion 
ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टैटिस्टिक टी वन स्टैटिस्टिक टी वन इक्वल टू टी एक्स वन एक्स टू डॉट डॉट एक्स एन इज सफिशियंट इस्टिमेटर ऑफ पैरामीटर थ्रीटा इफ एंड ओनली इफ द लाइकहुड फंक्शन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एस एल इक्वल टू आई इक्वल टू वन टू एन एफ एक्स आई थीटा इक्वल टू जी वन टी वन थीटा के एक्स वन एक्स टू डॉट डॉट एक्स एन पर जी वन टी वन थीटा इज द पी डी एफ ऑफ द स्टैटिस्टिक टी वन आई रिपीट वेर जी वन टी वन थीटा इज द पी डी एफ ऑफ द स्टैटिस्टिक्स टी वन एंड के एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सैम्पल ऑब्जर्वेशन ओनली इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ थीटा ओके